What we now believe is that the peripheral nerves are actually not having the mitochondrial production that they need to in order to be able to function correctly. And the mitochondria are like batteries. And so they can kind of power down and then everything can get slow or they can be ramped up to their normal speed and everything's functioning correctly. So that's what we now believe is that as opposed to it being a blood flow issue primarily at least, there still could be some component of it or a muscle tension issue primarily again there still could be a component of that that it's actually a mitochondrial issue and that the mitochondria just are not able to supply the energy to the nerves to keep them functioning correctly so it's really interesting because we used to think that they just kind of got squeezed and then they just died and then we we're like okay well then there's, then there's nothing that you can do about it right so it's fascinating because of the implications of what we now understand 